Welcome everyone. This video is actually the definitely the final video in this series. I'm going to end up going a few minutes after sunset because I accidentally started doing shoutouts and I realized I was giving shoutouts to people that I had already given shoutouts to. Um, so I just have a very small number of shoutouts to tonight. Uh, yeah, just three actually, believe it or not. Okay, so the three shoutouts I'm doing tonight are... Dragon Age 1000, um, I guess I can even give, give these people cards since I'm only doing three. Dragon Age 1000, why does it say, oh he doesn't, he does have content. Oh, Mob Psycho, biking in a noisy city, looks interesting. Abandoned Reptile. He's got some other, it looks like anime stuff. I don't know, pretty interesting. Definitely check him out. Uh-oh. Uh Shoot, I lost my way I left off now. Darn it. Ah, sorry guys. Hold on. Um. Okay, then we got EJ Casino. Check him out real quick. I'm trying to make these a little longer so I have time to make cards for each of them. Uh, EJ Casino. Check out some of his. He's got... I'm not sure what that is. Comment below what type of music. Tied up playing this game. You know where this is, right? Not really, but it looks like a video arcade maybe or a casino. Oh wait, his name is Casino, so it must be at the casino probably. Korean Noodles. Darkness. So that's what some of his stuff looks like. And then finally, we have AE underscore YB. Looks like he this has one video, it says. Let's see. Exploring haunted abandoned houses. Yeah, I think I did watch that video a while back. I'm not sure. I don't remember too much about it, but... Apparently that's his only video that he has so far. But yeah, definitely check him out too. A-E-Y-B. Those are the only three shoutouts that I have. Because like I was saying in the other video that I scrapped, I've noticed that um, the less frequently I do videos that can include shoutouts, the less amount of shoutouts I get. I think it's because people aren't thinking in that direction in relation to my channel. Unless they see shoutouts on it. When they see it, they're like, oh, this guy's doing shoutouts. Let me see if I can get him. Because when I was doing shoutouts every video, I was getting swamped with shoutouts. But now that I've started doing them only one every, you know, several videos. Or, you know, a group of shoutouts every several videos. That's why I suddenly don't have very many. Sun's going to set in four minutes, but we'll go just a few minutes over just to get the full 11 minutes in this. I think we can still manage to see down this trail. It certainly looks lit up well enough on my viewfinder. But yeah, so what I said uh, a few videos ago where I wouldn't be doing individual shoutouts anymore. I probably still won't because like I said, it just leads to too many shoutout requests. But when I do do shoutout videos, if I have less than six, then I probably will do cards for all of them. Despite the fact that those people may not have given me a shoutout like I said in that other video. All right. Now, as you can see, it's starting to begin a little bit fall colored down here. Yellow leaves. The uh, what, it's October tenth, twenty seventeen. So these bushes are starting to have their leaves turn yellow. Some of them are even falling off, I guess, a little bit. Not too many leaves left on some of these bushes. Found out recently that the reason that what 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 causes leaves to turn color is when it drops below a certain temperature, I'm not sure, just one time or over a sustained period, that tells the plants that, or somehow it makes them stop producing chlorophyll, which is what makes the leaves turn green, and so that makes them turn colors and die out and fall off. And even though it's been pretty warm lately, we did have some cool nights there for a while. So, Well, there's a red colored bush or tree over there. It's pretty pretty. Let's see if we can figure out 
where this trail goes. Won't be able to go too far down it because I gotta return. But wow, it's boulders down here. And there's a seashell. <laughs> Clearly, someone brought that here and left it. Random seashell in the middle of the woods, nowhere near the ocean. Look at all those boulders down there. And look, there's a stack of, of rocks down there, almost like a little mini stone wall. Wonder what the idea of that would have been. Somebody put a lot of work into that at one point. I'm not sure I want to take the time to climb all the way down there, but I suppose I could I'll figure out. Looks like it circles down around here. The path continues over there, but oh, here's the fast way down. Maybe we'll take the fast way down to save time, even though it's a little steep. Oh, look at these leaves there. That's kind of an interesting orangey-brown color that they're, they've changed to. Well, I gotta tell you, fall is not my favorite season. My favorite season is summer. Second favorite, spring. Least favorite is winter, because I don't like the cold. Fall is my third, my second, my third favorite. But even though I'm not crazy about it, because, you know, everything's dying and it means winter's coming, I still can appreciate the fall colors. Tree fell over, snapped, it looks dead. So here's the stone, little mini stone wall here. It's very interesting. I don't know why someone would have put this here. I mean, it must have been built a long time ago. But I don't know what the purpose. There's some charred wood there, possibly a fire pit, but why would they? You wouldn't be very safe to light a fire right next to a tree like that. But then again, clearly it's been done before. I certainly wouldn't want to light a fire next to a living tree, but you know, maybe to keep so they could like have a fire to cook things on, it would be protected from the wind. Because look, you're in this pit here, so you're not getting wind there. And then the wall maybe would even more so protect it and the boulders as well. I just don't know. Just speculating. See if we can go back up the trail and just go a teeny bit further down the trail before the video ends. I'm going to have to come back here another time and continue exploring. Now do I want to go this way? Or do I want to go this way? I don't have much time anyway. Oh, well, there's a sign on that tree over there. I'm curious as to what it says. Probably says private property. Don't go any further. But there's a trail down there that we didn't explore yet. This probably just goes back to where we came. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is probably a dirt bike path. They probably made these mounds like this, I'm guessing, so they could ride their four-wheelers and dirt bikes over this and have like a rocky, a rough old fun, somewhat jumping like the General Lee over these things. That's what I'm thinking. Don't know if we're still on Nathaniel Green homestead land or not. Yeah. Definitely, wow. <laughs> you have to have a lot of momentum and engine power to get over that one. Whoa. Rapidly losing light. Good, good thing this video is almost over. Yeah, that's what the sign says. Says posted private property so yeah I can see houses over there so probably this might be from this point back the houses land so we won't go that way
Yeah, that trail continues down deep into that dark section of woods, which we're not going to today. Yeah, it would be cool to come back another time and check it out. And then, okay, well now we're meeting up with the path that we just saw, which also continues down that way. This being the lower path, that being the upper path. I don't know whether they meet each other again or they continue to stay separated, but that'll be something to find out for another day. Well, people, I hope you enjoyed this video and the whole series. If you haven't seen the rest of the series, you might want to check out some of the videos. I enjoyed making the videos. You might actually enjoy watching them. Uh, subscribe up there. And thank you very, 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 very much. Have a good day.